Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Lori from First United Methodist here in Kirksville. And we've been, as we've gone through our week, we've each been reflecting on something about hope and how that familiar Advent term is captured for each of us this year. And for, um, for me, it's definitely shaped by the fact that our family has been um, recovering from COVID over these last couple weeks, and it has not been an easy road. Um, it, uh, vi this is a tricky virus. Everybody is affected differently, even within our family. And um, it's not been something that we can just wrap our heads around and say, we're all better now. Um, no, match, no matter how much we may want to will that. Um, that's not the way this one works. And I'm thinking about that a little with hope as well. Um, thinking about when we ask, how is it with your soul? Sometimes, I anyway, am tempted that if I can just think something hard enough, I can will it into being. And hope sometimes feels a little bit like that, that if Hope is something we have to think about in the right way, sort of the power of positive thinking, Norman Vincent Peale um, kind of thing from my growing up years. But what I've discovered here in these last couple weeks is that I have experienced hope, the kind of hope that when you ask, how is it with your soul, says, that was a good moment. My soul was at rest. My soul was at peace. Those have been the moments where hope has been experienced rather than hope being something that I've thought about. Hope has shown up through music. It's shown up through distractions. It's shown up through laughter. It's shown up through moments where you think, oh, I feel normal at this moment. I don't know how long it'll last, but for this moment, I feel normal. Hope has shown up in sunshine. Hope has shown up in a full moon with clouds racing across it. Hope has shown up through warm meals dropped off on our porch. Hope has shown up through messages um, of friends and family checking in. Hope has shown up in ways we expected and ways we didn't. Hope has shown up as a cat that sits on our deck and stares at our other deck. He's been there for six or seven days now and doesn't leave. He just sits and watches inside the window. And so I wonder today, what are the places you are experiencing hope? When you think, how is it with your soul? Where are those times, no matter how strange they may seem to somebody else, that you had a sense that everything will be okay, even if it's not, um, but that you had a sense that no matter what was going on, you were cared for. You were loved, you were cherished, and you were held with a love bigger than yourself. And so, friends, I pray for you that your week ahead is one full of hope, full of being met where you need it the most, whether that agrees with what you think you might need or comes in completely surprising ways. So take care. And I will see you again next week. Go in peace, friends.